come from Psalms uh, 119. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and they and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy free self diligently. Oh, that my ways were direct to keep thy statutes, then shall I not be ashamed, when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart, when I shall have learned thy righteous judgment. I will keep thy statutes, O oh, forsake me not ugly. We thank you on this morning, on today, O oh God. God, first of all, we'd like to repent for anything we said or done that was unpleasing to your way or your will, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We ask you for your forgiveness. We thank you for your forgiveness. We thank you for your grace and mercy, oh God. We thank you all today for everyone that is here, oh God, and everyone that's connected to them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, that you ordered our steps, oh God. And that you are with us at all times, oh God, in the name of yes, Jesus. Lord. You said in your word that you will be with us, oh God, to the yes. end of time. Oh God, we thank you that you will never leave us or forsake us, oh God. We thank you that you are the God of this universe, first, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you that you are the head of our lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you that we are everything in you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, that you anointed and appointed our pastors for such a time like this, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you that in this time and season, O oh, oh Lord, you said that the best is yet to come. And we thank you for it, O oh God. We thank you for our obedience, O oh God. We thank you for your direction, O oh God, in the name of Jesus in this season, O oh God. Lord God, we just thank you on today, and we give you all the praise, honor, and the glory in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, praise God for that. We want to thank yes. you all and welcome you to New Beginnings Outreach International. Thank you guys for tuning in, Ustream as well as YouTube. Yes. And we just thank God it's a new year, amen. Yes, yes. We yes. made it yet another thank year. You, another yes. year to praise yes. God, amen. Yes. Another year in the millennium. Hallelujah. Yes. It makes 13 yes. years that we're in the millennium. We just yes. praise God for that. Yes. Last Sunday we talked about the promise, amen. Yes. And we just give God praise for that what we talked about last week. Yes. But now yes. we're going to be talking about rebuilding or building up a new thing. Amen. Yes. I didn't have a subject title, but I guess I could walk with, we're starting a new work and Amen. we can't come down. Amen. Amen. We're starting Amen. a new work and we can't yes. come down. And we Amen. praise God for that. Yes. We're going to come from the book of Nehemiah, but I got a couple notes right here before we go in. Uh -huh. It says, we are in a new year, new opportunity to start fresh. Yes. Amen. Also to start building. Hallelujah. And it yes. says the foundation has already been laid. Uh -huh. The whole month of December we was talking about foundation. Amen. Yes. We Amen. talked about laying a foundation. We talked about being wise. We talked about the strength. Uh -huh. We talked about purpose. Yes. Amen. Yes. We talked yes. about all those things. Yes. And we also learned that no foundation can be laid without Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So the foundation yes. has already been laid. Yes. And it says now it's time to start building or fix the breaches or fix those things that can bring harm or things that's already messed up. Amen. Amen. And then it says it's time for restoration. Hallelujah. Yes. And it says the Lord is about to restore some things yes. in our lives and also add to us. Yes. Hallelujah. And we thank God and praise God for that because we know that 13 is the year of expectation for us as well as the expecting in 13. Hallelujah. And also it says we also know you have to do some good things, but when you do some good things, people are going to hate, or things will try to come up against you, amen? amen. But it's all good, yes. because the Lord is with us, yes. amen? Thank so, Lord. let's get it in. We're going to go to yes. Nehemiah, and we're going to be all in here today. We're going to really find out what Nehemiah had to go through when he tried to rebuild yes. some things, amen. some things that was already built. I'm going to try uh -huh. to paraphrase and bring you up to speed. Now, Nehemiah was a, a man who loved the Lord. Loved the Lord so much that he wanted to rebuild some things that was already burnt up. Yes. Some things that was already in rubble. Amen. Yes. And he was going to do just that. Amen. Yes. So we're going to come from Nehemiah 1 and I'm going to read. We're just going to be getting it in. Amen. Yes. So Nehemiah 1 and 1. There's a lot of names in here that's kind of hard so I'm going to try to say them as much as I can. It may not be yes. proper but it's all good. Amen. Amen. And it says 1. It says the words of Nehemiah, the son of Hakaliah says, in the month of Kislev in the 20th year, while I was in the citadel of Susa, 
and it says, Hanai and one of his brothers and came from Judah with the other man, and I questioned them about the Jewish remnant that survived the exile and also about Jerusalem. Now, the, the people of Israel were sent to the exile, amen, mm -hmm. excuse me, and the people in, Jer in Jerusalem, they was kind of messed up because of what happened, amen. Yeah. So he was wondering what was going on with them, three. Mm -hmm. And he said to them, those who survived the exile are back in the province are in great trouble and disgrace. And it says, the wall of Jerusalem is broken down and the gates have been dirt burned with fire. And he says, when I heard these things, I sat down and wept. And it says, for days I mourned and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. Then I said, amen. amen. Then I put something down. It says, the burden had to do something with his call. Uh -huh. The something of his calling, his mission, or his mm -hmm. vision. Amen. amen. And that's what we have. We have a mission. We have a vision. And we also have a calling. Amen. amen. A calling amen. to do some great exploits for the Lord. Amen. amen. Five. And this is what he said. He says, oh, Lord, God of heaven, the great God and awesome God who amen. keeps the covenant of love with those who who love him and obey his commandments. Yeah. And it says, let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear my prayer of your servant who is praying before you day and night for your servants. So he was interceding for them. Amen. Yeah, like we praying yeah. for y'all as our members and we praying for the world. Amen. We're interceding for them. Amen. Yeah. And it says, I confess the sins of the Israelites, including myself yeah. and my father's house. Amen. Yeah. And it goes on and talks about, <clears throat> excuse me, they have committed things against you. It says, we have acted very wickedly towards you. And it says, we have not obeyed the commandments, the yeah. decrees, the laws you gave your servant Moses. And it says, remember the instruction you gave to your servant Moses. So right here, he was talking about, in order for him to get into that place, he's going to have to confess his sins. Amen. Amen. He's going to have to get to the place so he can get things in order. Yeah. And that's what we have to do. We have to make sure before we can even go to the Lord, we have things set in order already. Amen. Amen. So that's Amen. what he was talking about. He had to get in right standing with the Lord. Uh -huh. And it says, it says, uh, what is it? Nine. It says, but if I return you to me and obey my commandments, then if you in your exile come back from the father's horizon, I will go gather them from here and there and bring them to the place I have chosen as a dwelling for my name. So basically saying, if you go do that, uh -huh. I'm going to rechange some things. Uh -huh. Now that goes back to the word in uh, Second Chronicles. It talks about those people who are called us yes. will right. humble themselves. Amen. Uh -huh. yeah. And that's what this is talking about. If you return, y'all know to repent, then turn yeah. to God. Yeah. When you do those things, he will bring you back to that yeah. place. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So that's what he was saying. If you all do this, this is what I'm going to do for you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And it says, oh Lord, let your ear be attentive to the prayer of his, your servant and to the prayer of your servants who delight in reverie your name. And it says, yeah. give your servant success today by granting him favor in the presence of this man. Amen. Yeah. And it says, give your servant success in favor with kings, government, big people, mm -hmm. people who can change your situation. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And that's what we're praying for. We're praying for success. Yes. Yes. And we're praying yeah. for favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we can expect success and we can what? Come on, let's get yes, it in. And it says, Amen. the reason he got these things is he said, oh Lord, let your ear be attentive to my Amen. prayer. Amen. Amen. We have to get the Lord's attention. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And Hallelujah. let him know what we got going on in yes. our life. Amen. 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 We're going to go ahead and go to two. And it says, in the month of Nisan, in the 20th Amen. year of King, this is a word that's kind of hard. It says, our tax receipts. I don't know if that's right, but that's the king's name. And it says, when uh, wine was brought to him, so he was a wine bearer or a cup bearer, amen, that's what Nehemiah duty was, yeah. and it says, I took the wine and gave it to the king, and mm -hmm. I had not been sad in the presence before, amen, so he was always happy doing his thing, amen. and always loved to do what he wanted to do, yeah. and it says, so the king asked me, why does your face look so sad when you are not ill? Mm -hmm. This can be nothing but sadness of heart, yeah. and then he said, Nehemiah, he said, I was much afraid, but I said to my king, my king live forever. And he says, why should my face not look sad when the city where my fathers are buried lies in ruins and its gates have been destroyed by fire? Yeah. For, it says, the king said to me, what is it you want? 
right there. We have to know exactly what we want. Amen. We have to know exactly what we want because if we get into that place of great success yes. and great yes. favor, yes. the person is going to be expecting to bless you, but he want to know what do you want? Amen. 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 Not only what do you want, but what do you need? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And he says, what is it that you want? He said, yes. then I, I pray to God of heaven. Before you speak, pray in your insides. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, oh, God, help me. What, what shall I say? Amen. Yeah, yeah, and it says, yeah, when yeah. I prayed, I asked the king. He says, yeah, yeah. if it pleases the king, uh -huh. and if your servant has found favor, yeah. amen, in yeah. his sight, let him send me to the city of Judah where my fathers are buried yeah. so that I can rebuild it. Amen. Yeah. Six. It says, then the king, with the king sitting beside him, asked me, uh -huh. how long will your journey take? And it says, and when will you get back? And it says, it pleased the king to send me, so I set a time. Seven, it says, I also said to him, if it pleases the king, may I have letters to the governors of Trans-Euphrates. And it says, so that they will provide me safe conduct until I arrive in Judah. Eight, yeah. and it says, and I may have a letter to Asaph, the keeper of the king's forest, so I will... So he will give me timber to make beams for the gates of the citadel by the temple. And it says, for the city wall and for the residence I will apply, occupy. And it says, yeah. and because the gracious hand of my God was upon me, the king granted my request. Amen. Yeah. And it says, so I went to the governors of the transunion, union, trans, not transunion, I'm thinking about credit, hallelujah, trans Euphrates, and yeah. gave them the king's letters. Then it says, the king that had also sent arm, army officers and cavalry with me. Yeah. So right then and there, he asked for the exact thing that he needed. Amen. Because the king had everything yeah. with him. Yeah. And it says, because God's hand was upon him, yeah. the king granted the request. Yes, so God's hand is upon us, and also Amen. we have the anointing of God on us. Amen. Amen. So the things that we request will be granted. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord will be granted yes. because the hand is upon him and he got everything that he needs. Yes. Amen. Yes. He got the letters to all the governors. Amen. He got the king's letters, etc. Amen. Yes. Man, yes. I need to heat off over there. <coughs> Focus, right. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. So Amen. that's Amen. what the Lord was trying to get to me and that he said, because my hand is upon you, the yeah. things that you request will be granted. Hallelujah. Amen. So we got to understand that. Now, 10, this is where it comes in when I talk about when you're trying to do a good work, the haters or those people who are watching will come up against Amen. you. Amen. And these, and, and these times right here was kind of hard because it was in exile. The city was in ruins and uh, he had a burden upon his heart. Amen. Amen. I feel like this whole region is in ruins or it's some things going on. And I have a heart and we have a heart to change these Amen. things. But we have to get up in there for real. Yes. But as we do it, there's going to be haters. Ten. Yes. And it says, when Sam Bala, a Heronite, and Tobiah, an Ammonite, the official heard about this, they were very much disturbed yes. that someone had come to promote the welfare of the Israelites. Yes. You know what I mean? That's just like the enemy. When you try to come and get someone blessed or come and get yes. someone saved, you know, they don't want to see that. Amen? Yes. They want yes. to keep on bringing ruckus or all that type of stuff. It said yes. haters, onlookers, it, uh, gossipers, etc. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says, and when they hear what's going on, they're going to try to make a pit for you to fall in. Yes. Amen. Yes. But they're going to fall in whatever they do. Amen. Yes. So 2 and 11, it says, you can shut it up. And it says, I went to Jerusalem after staying yes. three days. I set out during the night with a few men. Mm -hmm. And it says, I had not told anyone that my God had put on my heart. To do for Jerusalem. Sometimes we can't tell everybody what we want to do. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you got to sneak out in the midst of the nighttime and scout the land. Amen. Yes. Sometimes yes. you got to go and see what's really going on in the situation before you get into yes. it. Amen. Amen. But don't yes. tell no one because it's always some haters or it's always someone wanting to slow down your progress. Yes. Amen. Amen. And it says, I set out during the night with a few men. Amen. And it says, I had not told anyone my, what my God had put on my heart to do for mm -hmm. Jerusalem. Yes. And it says, and there were no mounts with me except the one I was riding. So that's talking about donkeys or whatever he was riding. Amen. Mm -hmm. 13, it says, by night I went through the valley gate toward Jackal. And it says, mm -hmm. well, and the dumb gate. 
And, yeah. and then it says, examining the walls of Jerusalem, which have been broken down, and its gates, which have been destroyed by fire. And this is what I'm talking about. It's time to rebuild those things that's been broke down in our amen. life. It's time to rebuild those uh, situations that was kind of messed up through turmoil, amen, amen. and burned through fire, like bad uh -huh. relationships and all that type amen. of stuff, amen. amen. We're going to praise God for that because now it's time to rebuild, amen. amen. We started a new work, and we will not come down, amen. amen. And it says, so I went up through the valley by night, examining the wall. Finally, I turned back and re-entered through the valley gate. And it says, mm -hmm. the officials did not know where I had gone or what I was doing. Because as yet, I said nothing to the Jews or the priests or the nobles or the officials or any others mm -hmm. who would be doing the work. Amen. 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 And it goes on to say 17. Then I said to them, you see trouble we are in in Jerusalem. Yeah. Jerusalem lies in ruins. And it says, and its gates have been burned with fire. Yeah. Come, let us rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And we will no longer be in disgrace. And it says, mm -hmm. I also told them about the gracious hand of my God upon me and what the king has done for me. Amen. Yeah. Those are the testimonies that yeah. we walk in. Yeah. We just walk in what we've been through. Yes, we Lord. walk in and let them know we have the hand of God yeah. upon us. We have his hand upon us and let's go together. Amen. Amen. So it says, let us start rebuilding because we have began a great work. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 19, it says, but when Sanballat, the Heronite, and Tobiah, the Ammonite, the official, and uh, Geshem, or Geshem, and the Arab heard about it, they mocked and ridiculed us. It says, yeah. what is this that you are doing? And they asked, uh -huh. are you rebelling against the king? Yeah. Hey Amen. Sometimes when you step out um, in a fresh place or you step out out of the norm, they're going to say you kind of disrespected or you're trying to uh, yeah. rebel against others, what they're doing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 20. And it says, and I answered them by saying, the God of heaven will give us success. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. And it says, and he said, we, his servants, will start rebuilding. Yeah. But as for you, you will have no share in Jerusalem or any claim mm -hmm. or historic right to it. Amen. Amen. And this is how we should feel. Amen. It says the God of heaven will give us success. Oh, yes. Thank yes. You, Lord. And it says, and we, his servants, will start rebuilding. Amen. Yeah. We are starting a new work and new we work. won't yeah. come yeah. down. Yeah. Amen. So yeah. the haters going to come, but the haters... Yeah. They got to know that we know someone greater. Amen. Amen. Greater Amen. is he that is in us that's than right. he that is in the world. Amen. 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 So that's what they got to understand. And 13 is going to talk about, you know, who was going to fix what and who was going to fix these things. So we're going to jump right back to uh, chapter 4. Amen. Amen. And it says 4. The opposition to rebuilding. Every time you're going to start uh -huh. something, there's going to be opposition. Yeah. So yeah. don't think the strange things you go through. It's going to always be opposition, but you got to endure it to the end. Amen. Yeah. For it says, when Sam Bala heard what we were doing when we were rebuilding the wall, he became yeah. angry and was greatly incensed. He ridiculed the Jews, and Jews even in the presence of the associates yeah. and the army of Samaria. He said, what are those feeble Jews doing? And it says, will they restore store their wall? And it says, will... They offer sacrifices. Will they finish in a day? And it says, can they bring stones back to life from those heaps of rubble, burned as they are? Three, Tobiah the Ammonite, who was with him, had said, what they are building, even a fox can climb on it, and he will break down the walls of stone. So basically, they were just hating everything they tried yeah. to build. Everything they was trying to try to do, they was being ridiculed. Everything they was trying to do, they was being talked about. Amen. Yeah. Everything you try to do, people will talk about you. Yeah. Amen. They say, oh, they can't do that. Oh, that's not worth nothing. Amen. But hey, forget them. Just praise Amen. God and continue their work. Amen. Amen. Three, it Amen. says, Tobiah the Ammonite, who was with him, said, what are they doing? Even fox can climb up on it. So that's how my uh -huh. little stuff can climb up on it. Amen. Yes. Four, and it says, hear us, O God, for we are despised. Turn their insults back on their heads. Yes. Amen. So all those haters, we're going to believe that God can turn it right Amen. back on their heads. Amen. And it says, give them over as plunder in the mm -hmm. Lord of captivity. And it says, do not cover up their guilt or blot out their sins from their, your sight. Yeah. And it says, for they have their own insults in their face of the builders. Uh -huh. yeah. And it says, so we rebuilt the wall till all of it reached half its height for the people worked with all their heart. Amen. Yeah. We have to use all our heart for this work that we're about to do. Yeah. Amen. You got to be sold out for God to do what it takes to see the yeah. glory revealed. Amen. Yeah. Seven, it says, but when Sanballat and Tobiah, the Arabs and the Ammonites, and the man of Ashdod heard about the repairs of Jerusalem's walls, yeah. had gone ahead into the gaps 
before they were being closed. They was very angry. Mm -hmm. Some people don't want your breaches in your life to mm -hmm. be closed up. Some mm -hmm. people don't want you to be blessed. Mm -hmm. Some people want to keep bringing up the past to you. Amen. Mm -hmm. They will stay angry, but it's all good. Keep mm -hmm. on working. Amen. Amen. And now we're going to go to uh, 11. It says, and our enemy said, before they know it or see us, we will be right there mm -hmm. among them and will kill them and put an end to the work. So they already plotting on you as you working anyway. Mm -hmm. It says, as you working, they're going to try to destroy you. Mm -hmm. 12, it says, and then the Jews who live near them came and told us the time's over. Whenever you return, they will attack us. Mm -hmm. 13, therefore I stationed some people behind the lowest points of the wall at the exposed place, positioning them by their families with their swords. Spears and bows. After I looked things over, I stood up and said to the nobles, the officials and the rest of the people, do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord who was great and awesome yeah. and fight for your brothers, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your homes. Amen. Yeah. So we got to fight for all of these things. Yeah. We got to get it in for all of these things. 15, it says, when the enemies heard what they were doing and about their plot mm -hmm. and that God has frustrated it, and it says, we are all returned to the wall, each one to his work. So after they heard what they was doing, they went back to work. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we have to continue to work. We started a new work and we will not come down. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And it says, 16, from that day on, half of the men did the work while the other half were equipped with spears, shields, yeah. bows, and armor. And it says, mm -hmm. the officers posted themselves behind them, all the people of Judah who were building the wall. And it says those who carried materials did their work on one hand and held a weapon in the other. And it says that each of the builders who wore a sword at his side as he worked, but the man who sounded the trumpet stayed with him. Amen. Amen. So we have to be able to build and have our weapon at the same time. Amen. 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 As we build in this work, we got to know that the weapons of all warfare are not yeah. counter. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they're mighty and strong and bringing down strongholds. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Mighty. We got to yeah. know how to work and be ready for yeah. war. Amen. Yeah. We have to know what to do. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, God. Jesus. Glory to God. We have to know what to do. Amen. We're going to continue to read. It says, so we continue the work with half of the men holding spirits and the first light at the dawn till the stars came out. And it says, and at that time, I also said to the people, have every man and his helper stay inside Jerusalem at night so they can serve as guards by night and workmen by day. We need people praying. Amen. Amen. We need people praying at night. We need people praying Amen. in the morning for the work that we got going on. Amen. 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 Those are ways that we can stop those gaps being opened even larger. Amen. Amen. That's what intercessory or intercessory prayer is Amen. when you're standing in the gap for something. Amen. Amen. So the bridges Amen. will not have any breaches or gaps in them no longer. Amen. Amen. So they need you to stand at the night and stand at the day. Yeah. 23, it says, Neither nor, neither I nor the brothers nor my man nor my guards with me took our clothes each day, mm -hmm. had, had his weapon, even he when he went for water. So even as I'm drinking my water, I got my weapon ready. Amen. Amen. Because we don't know what's going on. They could Amen. probably try to attack us any day, any night, Amen. but we got to be ready. Amen. 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 Glory to God. We have to be ready. Yeah. Now we're going to go to chapter 6, amen? amen? And in chapter 5, that's talking about the people, because it was like a famine going on in the land as well. Yeah. The people were selling their things to keep their uh, land, or they were selling their things to eat and all those things. So Nehemiah also had brought order in that place yeah. when they was coming up against those people who tried to sell their yeah. uh, things to, to maintain living, amen? Yeah. It was rough out there, amen? Amen. 6, 6, 1 through 3. And it says, when the word came to Sambal and Tobiah of Geshem, the Arab, and the rest of the enemies, that I had rebuilt the wall, and not a gap was left in it. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And it says, though up at that time I had set, no, not, what is it? Though up to that time I had not set the doors and the gates. So he had all the walls mm -hmm. up, but the, the doors weren't up just yet. Amen. Mm -hmm. So it says, so seeing Sambal and Geshem sent him a message, said, come let us meet together in one of the the villages of the plan of Uno, yes. or oh no <laughs> and it says but they say they were scheming to harm me and it says so I sent messages to them with this reply I am carrying on a great project yes and cannot come down. Amen. We are starting a new work 
and yeah. we cannot come yeah. down. Yeah. So when your haters send you a note trying to get you to come down, say, no, I'm working and I can't come yeah. down. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Those yeah. things we went through last year, we're not going yeah. through that because yeah. I can't come down. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm expecting yeah. and 13. Yeah. I'm working for the Lord yeah. and I can't come down. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I ain't got no time for that. Like I can say, oh no, I ain't going. <laughs> I'm not going to the plan of oh no. The plan of oh no. Amen. It says, I am carrying on a great project. And I cannot come down. Hallelujah. And it says, why should the work stop while I leave it to go down to you? Why should I belittle myself to come down to you because you hate on me anyway? Amen. It says, your haters are nothing but elevators. So while you up on top of the elevator or even the escalator, you got to look down to them and say, I'm on a good work and I will not come down to you. Amen. 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 And it says, four times they sent the same message, uh -huh. and each time I gave the same answer. Amen. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> each yeah. time. So each time a hater or someone who want to stop your yeah, progress or say yeah. something, you give them the same answer. Amen. I started a new work, on, and I will not, not come down. down. Hallelujah. Yeah, I will yeah. not come down. I don't got no time for that. Amen. Like uh, Miss Sweet Brown. Ain't nobody got no time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. And five, in the fifth verse, six and five, it says, and then the fifth time, Sam Bible yeah. said his uh, uh, aid to me with the same message uh -huh. and in his hand, and it was an uh, unsealed letter in which it was written. And it says, it is reported among the nations of Geshem said, it is true that you, uh -huh. the Jews, are plotting to revolt, and there you are building the wall. Moreover, according to these reports, you are about to become their king and have even appointed prophets to make this proclamation about you in Jerusalem. This is the king of Judah. Now this report will get back to the king, so come, let us confer together. Eight, he said, I sent this reply. Nothing like what you are saying is happening. You are just making it up out of your head. Some people be like, oh, yeah, they trying to do this, that, and the other. No, no, y'all making that up anyway. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, he trying to do it. No, I ain't. You tripping. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> and it says nine. And it says they are or they were all trying to frighten us, thinking that their hands will get weak for the work. Uh -huh. Amen. And it will not be completed. Things will try to make you weak or faint hearted as you are progressing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Or, or, or while you're trying to build some things. Amen. Yeah. As you start a new work, sometimes you get weak. But what it says in Isaiah, it says, They that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew your strength. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And that's what they want to do is try to get you uh -huh. faint hearted. Yeah. And it says, but I prayed. Now strengthen my hands. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, now yes. strengthen my hands, strengthen Lord. My hands. And it says, one day I went to the house of Shemaiah, the son of Delilah, and the son of Met Mahedabel. Mm -hmm. And it says, and when he was shut in at his home, he said, let the temple, let us close the temple doors because men are coming to kill you by night. And it says, they are coming to kill you. It says 11. But I said, should a man like me run away? <laughs> so the person like you run away with all the hell that you've been through, all the high water that you had to travel upon, you done came too far to turn back now, hallelujah, you done came too far to, to, to bag up or to backpedal and to let a devil put you in hiding, amen, it says how can when you put this, uh, this lamp uh, away or hide this light that you have on the candle stand, no, we gonna stand up, we have been through too much to hide, hallelujah, too much. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. We starting to work and we won't come down. Amen. We can't come down. Hallelujah. Oh, no. And it says, where we at? What do I do? Amen. Twelve. And he, I don't know where we at. Twelve. He says, I realized that God had not sent him, mm -hmm. but that he prophesied against me because Tobiah and Sam Bilet, Sam Ballard had hired him. Now, this word, the prophets, we got to study the word to know the word. Amen. Amen. We have to have a spirit of discernment because yeah. some prophets are proper lying. Amen. 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 They hired to speak uh, damnation or hired uh -huh. to speak a fake word. Amen. Amen. But we thank God for the true prophets. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the true body of Christ. The Amen. ones that worship him in spirit and in truth. truth. Amen. Amen. So we got to know how to, to discern things. Yeah. But he already knew. Amen. Amen. He knew they was lying. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said, he had been 
hired to intimidate me mm -hmm. so that I would commit a sin by doing this. Yeah. And it says, and then they would give me a bad name and discredit me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We got to make sure that our name stays 100. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We got to make sure that when we walk up, we can walk up outrightly. Amen. Yeah. Amongst yeah. people. Amen. Yeah. That we have a yeah. good name. Amen. Yeah. That our good will not be evil spoken of. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. Glory to God. He said, by doing this or listening to them or stopping this work, it'll uh -huh. be a sin. Amen. Yeah. So it'll be a sin if we stop mm -hmm. the work that we continue. Right. Amen. We start to work and we cannot come down. Yeah. We will not come down. Yeah. Amen. Because we're doing yeah. a great thing. Yeah. Yeah. 14. It says, remember to buy and send by the oh my God because mm -hmm. of what they have done. Remember also the prophets of Noah, what is it? Noah Dyer and the rest of the prophets mm -hmm. who have been trying to intimidate me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 15. And it says, so the wall was completed on the 55th day, or the 25th day of Elo and the 52 days. Mm -hmm. And it says, with all our enemies heard about this, they surrounded, the surrounding nations were afraid mm -hmm. and lost their self-confidence because they realized that this work had been done with the help of our God. Yeah. Hallelujah. And it says, Hallelujah. also in those days, the nobles of Judah were sending many letters to the to, to Tobiah, and replies from Tobiah kept coming to them. It says, for many in Judah were under an oath to him. Amen. Yeah. And it says, since he was a son-in-law of uh, Shechaniah, the son of Aaron, and the son of Johanan, who was mm -hmm. married to the daughter of Meshalem, <laughs> Son of mm -hmm. so basically I just tell her who he was. Yeah. But basically he said they completed that in uh, 52 days. And it says when all the enemies had heard about this uh, and the surrounding areas, they was afraid and they lost their confidence because they realized yeah. that the work had been done with uh, the help of our God. Yes. Amen. So we are starting to work and we will not I come down. down. Amen. 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 We're going to get it in when it's just us few. We're going to get it in when it's we deep. We're yeah. going to get it in no matter what. We ain't trying to listen to what the haters are saying because oh, great yeah. is he that is in me that's he that is in the world. Yeah. We ain't waiting for no fake prophecies. Oh, we don't believe yeah. what God has yeah. spoke to us. Yeah. We're going to yeah. trample over yeah. circles. Yeah. We're going to walk in power. Yeah. We're going to have the yeah. DNA of Christ, yeah. dominion yeah. and authority yeah. because of the blood. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We're going to keep on doing what we yeah. have to do no matter what a naysayer has to say about it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because we are starting a great work. Yeah. Yeah. And we will not come down. Amen. The wall Hallelujah. needed to be refreshed. And also it talks about in there when the people of Jerusalem seen that the wall was restored, their joy got up. Some people need to see things are being restored so they can regain their joy. Hallelujah. They can regain their joy. Amen. And it says in order for the people to understand, they're going to have to repent from their sins. Amen. Amen. Repent for their sins and then like, come yeah. back to me. Amen. And yeah. then this is what I would do. Uh -huh. But this year, we're going to believe that God will going to continue to give us success, Amen. continue to give us favor. Yeah. And when yeah. he gives us this favor, when somebody asks us, what do you need? You tell them exactly what you Amen. need. Amen. Amen. And you believe that the Lord will give it to yeah. us. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank it says, King. So that's talking about people of power, amen. Yeah. Mayors, governors, uh -huh. presidents, yeah. promotion yeah. from your job, whatever, amen. Hallelujah. All you have to do is believe, believe. amen. Believe. believe. The work that you're starting is a great work. Great work. Yeah. Great work. And then it says the surrounding nations. Yeah. It says 16. We're going to stay on 16 for a moment. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Sixteen. It says, when all the enemies, or when all our enemies heard about this, uh -huh. all the surrounding areas and nations were afraid and lost their confidence because they yeah. realized that this work had been done with oh, the help yes. of our God. Yes, yes. Only thing we can do is yeah. do the things for the Lord. Amen. And the things we're going to accomplish it is because the Lord's hand is upon us. Yes, Amen. Yes. We have to make sure we give God back Amen. his due. Give God Amen. back his glory. Amen. Amen. Everything that he's Amen. done from 12 to 13 yes. is the Lord's doing. Amen. Stay in his will. Amen. Yes. Continue to work. It yes. says as they were yet building, they had their weapon on the side. Uh -huh. They had their weapon. So if anything oh, happened, yes. they can start fighting. Amen. Amen. They was building, but they was ready for war. Amen. Yeah, yeah. As we build in this new ministry, as yeah. we build in our lives yeah. on a solid foundation, solid. we have to make sure that we are ready for yeah. war. Whenever yeah. it 
it comes. Oh, yes. Amen. So that could be prayer. Amen. Like I said, the war, all warfare is, is not carnal. Amen. Amen. But it's mighty in pulling down of strongholds. Amen. Yes. That's just paraphrasing. So we got to know how to use our words. Yes. Amen. Use our words. Know how to pull down yes. things. Know how to use yes. things. It says we got the keys of heaven. Yes. The keys to the kingdom. Yes. Amen. What you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Amen. So we got to know how to use our words and speak. Amen. 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 And get it in for the Lord. Amen. We started a new work. Lord, and we cannot yes. come down. Amen. Amen. And then in 7, it says 7 and 1. Mm -hmm. After the wall had been rebuilt. Mm -hmm. And I set the doors in the place. The gatekeepers and the singers and the Levites were appointed. Amen. So after everything is restored, that's when you start appointing things. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's when you start getting things in order. And that's mm -hmm. what the Lord is trying to do. He's trying to set things in order. Mm -hmm. Time set for things in order. Amen. As we start mm -hmm. to progress and as we start to grow, we're going to have to put people in position. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're going to have to set them in position. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it says, I put in charge of Jerusalem my brother, mm -hmm. Hananiah. So that's what it's talking about. He was putting things in order after that. So after we got mm -hmm. these things rebuilt, and after we building these things, it's time mm -hmm. to set things in order. So now it's time for us to build and walk in mm -hmm. that. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we're starting a new work, mm -hmm. and we can't come down. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So you just look at 2012 and say, I ain't going back. Amen. I can't I can't go back. I'm not going down. Amen. I started a new work and I'm gonna continue to do what the Lord has put in my heart. I'm starting a new work. It's a new year. We got new zeal. We got new strength. Amen. We got another opportunity to do the will of the Father. We have success. And we have favor. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. I just praise God for that word today. Amen. So this is just letting y'all know the foundation has already been laid oh, in December. Yes, yes. We talked about foundation. Now it's time yes, for the rebuilding. Yes. Or now it's time to build. Amen. Yes. To build and to close up those gaps. Hallelujah. Yes. And we can close them up with prayer. Intercessory yes. prayer. Praying for these things. Yes. Letting the Lord know what we need. Amen. Amen. It says, Lord God, let your ear be attentive. Yes. Let your ear be open to what we say. Amen. Yes, and he listens to us. Amen. Yes, we just praise yes. God for the Lord listening to us as we're doing this great work. Amen. We will not come down. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Close out Amen. real quick. And then we're going to go to uh, do communion on the first Sunday. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord Amen. God, for, for your word. Lord God, I thank you just for reading your word. Sometimes Amen. I just love reading your word as I preach because that's what it is, Lord God. It says, your word is true to us, and we stand on it, Heavenly Father. And we praise you. Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, for the members, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you're, they're, they're starting a great work and they won't come down, Lord God. I thank you for our viewers, Lord God, that you will continue to bless them, Lord God, as they're digging into your word, starting something new in this new year, Lord God. 2013, and we're expecting, Lord God, this is a year of expectation, Lord God, and we just praise God for success and favor, Lord God. As we leave this